So what we have here is a very therapeutic program for participants who, for one reason or another, can't be home alone during the day uh, for extended periods of time. And, and uh, they need socialization, they need activity, and a lot of times the caregivers need some respite to be able to attend to the needs of the house and their own personal needs. So this is a place for folks to come and receive quality programming to help them during the day, to keep them occupied and to try and build on, on what they already have the capability of and, and to help them with areas of need. That certainly is a great idea. Um, the building has a certain amount of square space, so you can't have 400 people in there. You must be limited. You are limited. According to the floor space, we, we can have up to 40, but comfortably 30 is, is really our goal. That's our goal. That's our goal. Uh, we're in the fall of 2016. How far along are you toward that goal? We are um, almost halfway to the 30 point. We started off very small, which is great because you don't want to build too quickly because it's a therapeutic program, which is different than the other social days in the area. It really is client-centered and client-specific issues are, are addressed. And so in doing that, it takes time to get to know each person who comes in. And so having it build slowly works very well. You, from the time that I've known you over the past few years, I see all of these innovative new things that, that you're bringing in, and I have nothing but admiration for all of them. My, my question to you is, where did you get the idea for this, and how long ago? I think from the very beginning when I first came into the Council on Aging, I looked at the needs of the city, the needs of the, of, of the elderly in the city. Part of the mission of the Council on Aging is to constantly be looking for programming that meets the needs of, of, of our senior citizens. We have um, over 19,000 seniors in the city, and that's growing constantly. Um, it's, the baby boomers are now hitting those numbers, which they hadn't before. And so it's a need that was very much unmet prior to that. Um, 19,000. When I think of the population of the city, we're what, about 80 or 90,000? Yeah, it's, it's... So, I mean, we're talking about one in five, or one in six. That's it's tremendous. It's 21% of, of the city's population are seniors. That makes us second highest in the state, in pop population-wise. We're only second to Quincy. So it's a very high population of seniors, and... and um, so that means your office is well staffed and very busy. Very busy. Okay. Very busy. Um, this social daycare center is, um, it's not an experiment. It really is something that you know is working because from what I understand, you have people coming in and looking at it and perhaps making a decision. Uh, we'll ask the director of, of the center later on, but uh, are you pleased with the way it's going? I'm very pleased with the way it's going so far. We started in July. Uh, July the 11th was the grand opening, and it's, it's grown it, ever since then. We probably uh, one person every other week adds, to, them, adds to, the, uh, to the people who are already here. Some weeks you might get two in a week. Um, but for the families who are involved and the people who are involved, it's, it's an exceptional program. They're seeing vast improvements in their home life. Um, vast improvements in just the way that they came in in the beginning and now are really acclimated, acclimated to... to it, it's likely that you may build this uh, boat by the end of the year? I would imagine by Christmas it would be full. And then we'll have to look for another place, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's great. Deb, I want to thank you very much. Thank you. I know you're a very busy lady and you're rushing around. We try. New programs we try. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you again for taking time to stop and talk to us. Thank you for taking the time to, to ask us the questions because it's, it's a great service that you do. Thank you. G54. G58. 58. G51. And 33. Oh, 64.
68. Well, a typical day, um, people either arrive via van through the Council on Aging or their family brings them. Um, we provide a continental breakfast, bagels, muffins, juice, yogurt, um, those types of um, food. Um, we might have an exercise program, whether it be a, a chair tai chi. Do as much as you can. If you can, bring it up here. Remember the, the hula hoop, our hip circles. Hands on hips, right? Yeah, hula hoop. Yeah. You might feel a little bit warm. Except 
the top here. Okay, well we can rub the top. have exercise with Larry, we have uh, yoga with Joey Machado, and we, or we might have bingo, uh, depending on what day of the week it is. There will be something for the mind, a trivia, or some form of a game, um, something very social, we use, uh, depending on the day of the week, we can have a number of people um, in the center at the time, a very social uh, group. Um, we have lunch brought in by Coastline every day. Um, it's part of the Meals on Wheels program. And then we have um, a snack later on in the afternoon. So there's um, a lot of one-on-one, -on -one depending on uh, what is going on uh, with each individual person. We have a pool table. People can play pool. We have a piano if they want music. There's music available. They like to play cards and dice. 
variety of different games that are going on at the same time. Cribbage, someone could be playing cribbage, someone else could be playing rummy, someone else could be playing dice, and someone else playing pool, all going on at the same time. As well as we have a community garden where people can go out and help us tend the garden. And we are very fortunate to be in the park and have the pond right near us so we can go sit down at the pond and enjoy the beautiful place where we actually are located. Yeah. You've just described a, a, a good family home. I mean, given my age, I, <laughs> can I move in? <laughs> we do have a good time. I try to make it a very warm and welcoming environment. And we, um, we want to make everybody feel welcome. Uh, right now, I believe we have, yeah, I believe we have 12 right now, depend, you know, yes. some come certain days of the week and some come others. Now, I wanted to clear that up because I thought they came every day. But no. Um, I have people that can come three days a week all day. I've got others that come half day, twice a week twice a week. So you, somebody could come Tuesday and Friday and just come for lunch and then later on in the day. Or they could be coming Monday, Wednesday and Friday and be here 8.30 to 2.30. You know, it's their choice what they want to do and when they want to attend. So if they want to come for something very specific, they can or they can come all day and hang out and, you know, have a good time with everybody that's here all day. nail this down because the, the viewers need to know that this is not a free program. No. There's a cost attached to it. There is. There is a $35 Medicaid mandated cost per day. And that is the same with any of the social day programs, whether you go to Fairhaven or Dartmouth. There is a cost associated with a social day program. However, through Coastline, through ARAW, um, this, any of the senior care option um, insurances, a lot of people are covered. There isn't a cost associated individually. We do have people that are private pay, um, and they do have the cost of $35 a day. But for the most part, most of the people that are attending have the insurances or Mass Health or something where it's covered. Uh, it's a covered cost. And they, it's obvious, you know, they, they've all become friends. Very much so. Yeah. Um, we had a lady that fell at home, and uh, she hasn't been here for a few days, and they're missing her horribly because she is an in intricate part of everything that goes on here because she's here five days a week. Have you had any success stories yes. that you can share with me? Yes. I can tell you a couple. Um, my favorite one is um, we had a lady that um, she has some memory issues and she wouldn't know day to day what was going on when she arrived. She knew she was coming here but she didn't know anybody and she didn't um, know what she had done or what she had done before she left the house. And within a few weeks of her attending, and she was only coming three days a week, she was coming Monday, Wednesday and Friday, her family had found her memory had improved so dramatically they put her five days a week. Now she knows my name, Robin's name, Robin's the recreation leader for the center. She knows the people that are here every day. She knows what she did the day before. She is very involved in everything, loves being here, knows everything that's planned out, asks questions about what's coming up. And that is one of the very dramatic um, reasons. Another is I got a, we have a gentleman that when he first came, the first few weeks, why am I here? <clears throat> I don't need to be here. I want to be home. And within a few weeks of coming, we've worked more one-on-one -on -one with him and understood what his needs were. Um, he was feeling like he was useless. And we gave him little odd jobs where he worked with Sandy and did other um, Sandy's my assistant. Um, we did. She did other things with him to keep him busy and make him feel like he was needed. Um, his wife told us that his outlook had improved so dramatically it had made their home life better. That he was happier when he was home because he had felt like he was useful when he was here. So once we can get to know a person and it takes a couple of weeks to get to know somebody well enough to figure out what they need 
once we know what they need, we know how we can help them best. And once we can do that, we can make them feel that they belong and are part of the community. We're very, very fortunate to be in a beautiful building that's completely handicap accessible. And <clears throat> it's warm and inviting and it's just a really good place to be. Okay. I'm going to end this by asking you a very unusual question. Okay. You get out the crystal ball and okay. tell me what you see in three years. Three years? I expect this program to be full long before that and have a waiting list and to we're being helpful to as many people as we possibly can be. Thank you very much for having us and we're happy to have you here today. I hope you have fun while you're here. Only because I'm a talker, you know what I mean? That's not a bad thing. There's one lady that comes, she never talks, ever. Really? She just doesn't talk. But she doesn't come on Friday. You wouldn't want to talk to her anyway. No, I don't. <laughs> she doesn't talk back. Okay. So what we're going to do is a short interview. Yeah. Just with you and me. And, um... So, I'm. Um, I'm doing word games and things. Well, they, they say that keeps you sharp. Well, it, it must because, like, like I said, I'm, I'm 88. Well, I just watched you play a word game, and you won. Oh, yeah. I, well, because I do word games at home. Okay. All right. You know? Yeah. I play one on my computer, and I have magazines that have word things. and Puzzles. so. Yeah, so I try to do that. Now, here's a good question for you. Before you started coming here, what would you do with yourself every day? Well, I, was, I, I had a car, 
and I would uh, go shopping a little bit around the neighborhood, you know what I mean? Yeah. Stuff like that. And I'd go for a walk. I, w I lived near a, a grocery store, so I would go for a walk and see if I needed anything. I'd bring it home. Then, one day, I went for a walk and I fell down. So, uh, then they took my license away, you know, because they weren't sure, and it's my age, I guess, you know. So I don't have a license. Now my daughters tell me, no, I, we don't want you to go walking alone. Well, I live alone, but who am I going to go walking with? You know, so all of a sudden I'm not walking either, so I said, oh my God. That's when I started getting really lonely. Well, maybe they're worried about your safety. Yeah, they are. That's what they're worried about, my safety. Yeah. But I figured if I fall down, I live on right off Tarkin Hill, and I, I walk on Tarkin Hill for a few minutes, and then through the, through the parking lot at the store. So I figured if I fell, like, somebody would certainly find me. Yeah. I, I can't get go unnoticed, the path I take. Yeah. I was thinking of the other kind of safety. Getting hit by something? No, by somebody. Yeah. You know. Oh, that way? No, I never different. thought of that. Well, th this day and age, you know. It's awful. It's awful. It's I not mean, like it used to be in the 50s. As, oh, God, no. I mean, as a child, I could go I would walk to school f at five, five years old. Me too. And nobody would ever bother me. Today it's a different story. My mother would say, go to school. Yeah. Today I would never let a five-year-old no. walk around. I'd, I, have to, I have to say, I do worry about my grandchildren, my great-grandchildren. They're just starting school these days, and I worry about them getting shot. You know what I mean? Yeah. People bring guns. My father was a policeman when I was young, and he had a, a gun in a drawer, and we were f one, two, three, four children, but we never touched his, his gun or thought to bring it outside or anything. No. It was right in the drawer, but today you couldn't leave a, a gun in, like that with a child around. They, they tend to be too inquisitive. That's it. They're, maybe they're smarter than us. I don't know. Um, I wish I could say you're right. Gert, listen, I know that you've got uh, lunch coming up. We're going to be bringing you yeah. lunch very soon. Let, uh, let them. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Time. Thank you. Thank you for coming and checking everything out. And I hope that uh, you'll come and visit us again. More information now, what should they, do? Um, they can either contact the Council on Aging at 508 nine nine one six two five zero and talk with Deborah Lee or Pam Amaralima or they can contact me directly at New Bedford Adult Social Day which is five oh eight nine six one three one zero zero. Are they allowed to come and visit? Yes. They are welcome to come in and take a look around and see what's happening. I'd love to have you come in and say hello. And um, we are Monday through Friday, eight thirty to three. Mm -hmm. Karen, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. And uh, we'll be back. Thank you. Look, some of these activities. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We have all kinds of stuff. Very good. Okay. Thank you.